What's up guys? Welcome back to Natural Hair for Beginners and this is episode 6 guys. I can't believe that we're on episode 6 already. Yes. Thank you guys for all the amazing feedback, for all the comments and all the DMs. I really, really, really love hearing from you guys and seeing your natural hair progress and just like seeing you guys ask for help when you need it. It's really, really great. Please don't be scared to message me. Like, my DMs are always open. I'm super excited to help you guys. Don't be shy, man. Pop in, say hi, even if you don't have a natural hair related question. I am here. Okay, let's get to the point because we don't have that much time. So um, today I'm talking about the importance of deep conditioning. So I've mentioned deep conditioning a, a few times in the previous episodes, but you might not be really sure about why it's necessary. To be honest, me as a person, I am not a very good deep conditioner. I don't think I do regular deep conditionings at all. Well, not as much as I should be. Um, I would probably do a deep condition every like six months, which is terrible. <laughs> um, so while I've been doing this research, I've realized how bad I've been. And I'm thinking that if I'm bad, you're probably bad too. So we're just gonna be bad together. But we're all improving, we're all on this journey together, and we're gonna get better. So, as usual, the iPad is here. So if you see me looking down, it's just that I don't miss out any information. The importance of deep conditioning. Deep conditioning helps prevent damage from heat styling tools and helps replace the moisture in your hair and vital proteins in the hair shaft, all right? So if you're someone who's starting their natural hair journey and you've been straightening your hair a lot and everything, you're gonna need to be doing regular deep conditions just to give that hair some laugh. If you have damaged, brittle, or color-treated hair, you should be deep conditioning regularly. Deep conditioning will help restore the shine and strength to your hair. And yes, we always want shine and strength. There are two types of deep conditioning. There's moisturizing deep conditioners and protein deep conditioners. So, a moisturizing deep conditioner, I'm gonna go through that first. Moisturizing deep conditioner, contains humectants, which I spoke about in last week's episode. If you're not sure what a humectant is, just pop back to episode five and you'll see it all explained there. Contains humectants, which attract moisture and are absorbed, absorbed by the hair. The difference between regular conditioners and deep conditioners is that deep conditioners contain a component included in the formulation of moisturizers. So they're able to attach themselves to the hair and provide longer lasting moisture. Deep conditioners should be left in for at least 15 to 30 minutes at a time and should be done as often as your curl type requires. So if you went back to episode two, I think, I told you how often you should be deep conditioning your hair according to your curl type. So check it out. You're gonna wanna apply your deep conditioners to damp hair because if your hair is too wet, the conditioner will just slide off and it won't penetrate the hair as well. And then after you've done a moisturizing deep conditioner, you wanna rinse the hair with cool water because that will help close the cuticle and help keep the moisture inside the hair. Yes. So your moisturizing deep conditioners are the ones that you'll find most often on the market. If you search for any deep conditioner on the Clicks website, majority of them are moisturizing deep conditioners. But there is also a protein deep conditioner. Now a protein deep conditioner uh, um, these are used to increase the diameter of the hair. So it coats around your hair strand and it makes the hair strand a little bit thicker. Protein deep conditioners and protein treatments are the same thing. So if you hear me say do a protein treatment, it's the same thing as a protein deep conditioner, tomato, tomato. They also help your hair by attaching to the areas that are weak and help strengthen the hair. The protein also helps to harden your cuticle and it provides a protective barrier around your hair. Protein deep conditioners will strengthen your hair, but also add some body to it because it's making the strand thicker. Your hair is going to be more luscious and bouncy, bouncy. You know what it is. <laughs> what am I saying? If you have color treated hair, damaged hair or weak hair, you should be doing protein treatments regularly. Depending on the condition of your hair, a protein treatment should be done once a month or every two months. Some protein conditioners will harden your hair and that's why it's really good to do a moisturizing conditioner afterwards. Some protein conditioners will harden your hair, 
so you definitely want to add a, a hair moisturizer afterwards just to help your hair deal with the amount of protein that it's just gotten and if you experience that your hair is weaker after a protein deep condition that could mean that you are protein sensitive so doing protein conditioners might not be the best thing for your type but that's a very rare condition and not many people have it but if you do suspect that you are protein sensitive do some research on it and see what you should be using instead of protein conditioners to help strengthen and nourish your hair so basically that is all i have on why deep conditioning is so important i hope that you've been able to learn a little something from that you have to also be really careful when you're deep conditioning your hair that you're not doing it too often. So one of my friends was asking me why her hair is still not looking good after she's been deep conditioning every second day. No, do not deep condition every second day. You should not even be doing a deep condition within the same week. Once a week at most. And if you're doing it like once a week is also a lot. That's only for really damaged hair. I would say a two week to three week gap for deep conditioners is your friend because it is possible to over condition your hair and then your hair is just not going to look good. All right. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Natural Hair for Beginners. It was a nice quick one this week, but it was a very important information to share because I know that you don't all have a deep conditioner in your hair routine. And I know that after this video, you're going to add one, right? Right. Guys, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel if you want to see any of my product reviews that I've done for natural hair products. And if you are thinking of buying products but you're not sure what to buy, check out my YouTube channel. The link is in my bio. And if you haven't downloaded my ingredient list freebie, that link is also in my bio. It's got all the information from last week's episode compiled and ready for you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and share it with all your friends. Thanks guys, bye.